woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seemed to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. She's also stupid. See, so now obviously this is where you see the the uh, downfall of the gang. He knew the rules. But guess what? If she had told, do you think she would have been sitting around on her own? Like, do you, do you think that they they would be she she wouldn't even be around? They'd most likely put her into some form of like witness protection or some stuff or some whatever. Gavin! I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway. That that's sad. That is honestly sad. But in any case, what we're going to do right now is, I'm probably going to, what I'm probably going to do today, guys, is I'm probably going to finish off um, Arthur's story. And to be honest, I'm not going to do the epilogue because I'm going to be real. I'm not a big fan of the epilogue. I've never, like, especially in Red Dead Redemption 1, I haven't really been a fan of the epilogue. I don't, I think, to be honest... I know other people play through it. I just, I, I don't know. I just, feel, I just feel it's wrong. But like I said, I've got so many other games to play. Um, so depending on how long it takes us for uh, to complete the um, to complete the rest of the game, I don't think I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it'll take us long to complete the game from here. Yeah. Um, I can't be bothered to do, like, side missions. Can't. Wisdom of the audience. I think the only side mission that I'll do is I'll probably help that woman. I'll probably help that woman. If... If the um, occasion, I don't, I can't remember when. There we go. You dickhead. You know what? I kind of don't care. Nope. I'll only help that woman. That's the only side one that I really care about. I'm pretty sure we already helped her. I can't remember. It's been a it's been a while, You're man. But yeah, like I said, there's there's so many other games that I want to try and play. I think um, 
I don't know. We'll see. I th I'm still thinking of doing um, Devil May Cry 4. But yeah, I think uh, next week I might do... I might end up doing uh, more... I'll probably end up playing like Horizon Zero Dawn and probably doing some game dev at the same time uh, next week. Because obviously Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out a week after and I'm probably going to be playing a lot of that. So yeah. Other than that, I other than that, I think um, Devil May Cry four and five I kind of want to do, and then um, at some point I think I'm gonna redo Mass Effect two, and I'm gonna see how. Here we go. Oh, if you guys know, you guys know. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Sorry, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. You a friend. I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let this. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. No. Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, 
you, Wayne. You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, <coughs> not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, but wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. This is the realization that hits for uh, Arthur. I think the reason why a lot of people like Arthur is because of the uh, we can't change what's done. We can only move on. the character arc. This is the redemption now. This is the redemption part of Red Dead. You have it in you, I can tell. Man, that, that, that. But the thing is, it's like, even he knows it's like, eh. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. This is why I don't like Leopold Strauss. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Scratch mark. I don't think anything ordinary took that. There, there was. Problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. 
For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's a character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. We can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, Probably boy, Bill. I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> How did you get out of this? Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. 
This is crazy. I wouldn't do this. I would never do this. Imagine if lightning just goes. <laughs> that <laughs> this happening goes. <laughs> Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Oh, I see. It actually goes up very, very slowly. So long as it works. Whoa there. No need to go any higher. What happens if you go too high? You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. to be lower. There's not enough wind at this altitude. We need to meet Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. Imagine if I just held it down all the way through. I I I, I wonder what it would do. City this morning, Mr. Morgan. Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of? Aviation. I uh, didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. <laughs> or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. This is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. I can't believe we're doing this. That's not him. Looks like him. Oh, it's hard to tell, though. Look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Mm. Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can 
see that. Ascent! Ascent! Why didn't you hold it down? Absolutely insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm not trying to be funny. In the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> I, I do like this game. Though. Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Wait till I tell Bob. What are you doing? She's over there! Damn it! Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Okay. I'll come down and get you on the other side. A drink for the old Driscoll who kills this cocksucker! Lower, Arthur! Hold that high! I'm coming! Alright, hold it there, Arthur! We got it. We got it.
Yes. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. Hold on. They say no over yet. These goddamn old Driscoll's! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! Who enjoys RDR online more than story? I don't know, I definitely don't. Um, you know, I, I stopped playing uh, Red Dead Online over about, maybe about a year ago. There's just nothing to do online now. Yo, T Slick, how's it going, dude? Hope all is well. Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. 